If you were wondering about the gaming performance of Nvidia's upcoming RTX 4060 Ti graphics card, then I have good news for you. Thanks to some recent developments, I can now tell you what the FPS will be like at 1080p as well as 1440p resolution. In this video, I will give you the full update on RTX 4060 Ti specs, performance, release date and price, right after this message. CDKeyOffer.com is my number one choice for when I need to buy a cheap Microsoft software key. They are a reliable provider of affordable keys to me, my friends and the channel community for over two years now, so highly recommend it. Use my discount code IVADIM to get 30% off an already amazing price and grab yourself a Windows 10 Pro for $16, Windows 11 Pro for $23 or Office 2021 for just $52. You can use PayPal for fast and secure payment and get your key instantly. Links to all these products are in the description below. To understand exactly where this performance comes from, we need to discuss RTX 4060 Ti specifications first. According to the latest leaks, this card is based on a cut-down version of a D106 GPU featuring 4352 CUDA cores and 32 ray tracing cores paired with 8GB of 18 gigabit per second GDDR6 memory across a 128-bit bus for a total of 288GB per second bandwidth. TDP is 160 watts. These specs are very close to a GPU that Nvidia has already released, and it has been independently tested by many reviewers in the past few days. I am talking about RTX 4070 laptop GPU. Looking at the differences in specifications between these two GPUs, it is safe to conclude that RTX 4060 Ti performance will be very close to what we see from an RTX 4070 laptop. So, with that in mind, let's have a look at how many FPS we can expect from an RTX 4060 Ti in various games at 1080p and 1440p resolution. Let's start with the latest hit game, Hogwarts Legacy. Using ultra settings, you should expect around 80 FPS average at 1080p and 63 FPS at 1440p. If we turn on DLSS quality mode with frame generation, then these numbers will rise to 140 FPS at 1080p and 90 FPS at 1440p. In Cyberpunk 2077 on ultra settings, 4060 Ti should pump out close to 77 FPS at 1080p and 50 FPS at 1440p. With enabled ray tracing, DLSS quality mode and frame generation, we should expect about 100 FPS at 1080p and 75 FPS at 1440p. Dead Space is another fresh game. Using ultra settings at 1080p, expect to see about 85 FPS average and 52 FPS at 1440p. Switching on DLSS quality mode, the numbers go up to 120 FPS at 1080p and 87 FPS at 1440p. In Microsoft Flight Simulator on Ultra Graphics, we should see close to 70 FPS average at 1080p and just above 50 FPS at 1440p. DLSS quality mode with frame generation enabled should improve that to 115 FPS at 1080p and 77 FPS at 1440p. A Plague Tale Requiem is yet another recently released AAA game which is quite graphically demanding. Expect RTX 4060 Ti to deliver close to 60 FPS at 1080p and 44 FPS at 1440p. Again, you will have to enable DLSS in this game to boost that frame rate for consistent 60 plus FPS experience. Expect 115 FPS at 1080p and 85 FPS at 1440p with DLSS quality mode and frame generation enabled. Spider-Man Remastered is a good-looking game which is not too demanding. So expect 132 FPS average at 1080p and 98 FPS at 1440p on very high graphics preset. By the way, if you like this video then consider tapping that thumbs up button below. It is the best way to reward me for my work. Now moving on to the popular online shooters. You should expect to be able to play maxed out Apex Legends quite comfortably with 4060 Ti. On average the performance should be around 130 FPS at 1080p 
and over 100 FPS at 1440p. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 should play nicely even on extreme settings with over 100 FPS average at 1080p and around 75 FPS at 1440p. If you are a fan of Red Dead Redemption 2, then you will be happy to hear that I expect 4060 Ti to deliver a good experience in this game, with over 75 FPS average at 1080p and over 60 FPS at 1440p using ultra settings. Looking at these performance numbers, I expect RTX 4060 Ti to be a good option for those planning to play any current games as well as the upcoming AAA games at 1080p resolution using the highest graphics quality preset. If you are thinking of going with a 1440p resolution, then you should be prepared to make compromises, like using DLSS and even frame generation in some cases. The fact that this fairly powerful graphics card is expected to come with just 8GB of memory has me worried about its longevity, especially for 1440p gaming. That is yet another thing to keep in mind. Nvidia is not being generous with the amount of memory it plans to give to the lower tier RTX 40 series graphics cards this generation, so you may be pushed to make an upgrade sooner than you would have liked otherwise. Still, the performance estimates look quite impressive for a 160W graphics card considering the not-so-great specifications compared to the previous generation RTX 30 series cards. Unfortunately, there is still no word on when Nvidia is planning to launch RTX 4060 Ti. I expect it to be out by the end of this summer. But if you wish to get that update as soon as we know, then make sure to subscribe and I shall update you on that as soon as possible. As for the price, I expect to see a $400 to $450 MSRP attached to RTX 4060 Ti. Nvidia made it clear that RTX 40 series will not be cheap, so don't expect any bargains this generation. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the RTX 4060 Ti. Here are some of my other videos on the upcoming graphics cards. You will enjoy them if you liked this one. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.